meals and uh, meals used in general sense whenever you're talking about meals generally talking about them so not don't use a definite article before them for example when do you take breakfast so it's a general question about breakfast that's why we haven't used definite article the or we haven't used indefinite we never use it you see indefinite article uh, before breakfast but sometimes we do but that is another case and uh, inshallah i'll explain later and the example what time do you take lunch so you're generally talking about lunch the time you take lunch so that's why we haven't used the before lunch but if you talk about a specific meal then you will use the before it for example the lunch i had yesterday was very delicious so you're not talking about lunch generally you're not talking about it you're talking about a particular lunch that you had yesterday so the that makes lunch particular so you have to use the before lunch the lunch i had yesterday was very delicious likewise the dinner i had at your house last week was very spicy so you're not talking about dinner in general you're talking about dinner particular dinner the dinner you had uh the dinner i had at your house last week right so whenever you're talking about meals and uh, particularly talking about them so that would make them particular and you'll have to use different article the before them before languages never 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 ever use definite article or indefinite article before the names of languages for example urdu don't say the urdu simply say urdu the english don't say the english simply say english the punjabi don't say the punjabi just say punjabi so whenever you are naming a language when you are whenever you say uh, the name of a language so don't use the before the name okay like urdu english punjabi before names of relations for example father mother aunt uncle so for example if your father arrives home and you tell you inform your mother so what would you say the father has arrived or father has arrived you should say father has arrived uh, because before the names of relations we do not use definite article likewise if your mother is in kitchen and you want to uh, inform you to you want to tell your father if your mother is in kitchen or somewhere else so you would say mother is in is in the kitchen you would not say the mother is in the kitchen remember don't choose uh the definite article before names of relations before school college church bed table hospital market prison these pla these places like school college and um objects like bed and table when you visit or use these places or objects for their primary purpose don't use definite article before them remember whenever you're talking about school or a college or church or bed or table or hospital when you're talking about their primary purpose right when you are using them in your sentence and you are discussing primary purpose so you will not use definite article the before them but uh, for example i learned english at school so everybody goes to school to learn something and that is the primary purpose of a school so in this sentence you will not use the or a before school likewise she goes to church every sunday so she goes to church every sunday for what to worship right yeah, for her prayers so that's the primary purpose of building a church so that's why we haven't used the we cannot say she goes to the church because here we are talking about the primary purpose of church So whenever you're talking about primary purpose of places and objects like these so you cannot use definite article before them another example i sleep on bed e bed bed are made for that you see beds are made for that beds are made to sleep on so that's the primary purpose of bed so i sleep on bed so you cannot say i sleep on a bed or i sleep on the bed you would simply say i sleep on bed but the will be used with these words when we talk particularly of them rather than normal activity people go there for so if you use these places like school college church and you're not uh, using them and discussing uh, primary purpose if you're not talking about their primary purpose so you will have to use definite article before them for example the school is very far from my house 
in this sentence you are not talking about primary purpose of a school but you are telling you are you are talking about uh, you are not talking about normal activity you are talking about something else right you are uh, you are telling that it is far from your house so you will not say school is far from my house you would say that school is far from my house because in this sentence you are not discussing the normal activity that goes at school likewise i met ali at the church so people do not go to church to meet people people go to church to offer prayers to worship so that is here in this sentence you're not using church and you're not uh, discussing church and you're not talking about normal activity of church so that's why you have to say i met ali at the church you cannot say i met ali at, chur at church and uh, another example is the bed you bought is very expensive the bed you bought is very expensive you are not talking about the primary purpose of the bed you are not talking about normal activity related to bed uh, but you are discussing something else the bed you bought is very expensive so that makes uh, you have to use uh, definite article the before bed okay so i hope that it's clear and you see when you practically implement these things and at the time of speaking you are careful with these things so uh, it's going to be really very easy for you to uh, explain and to others and uh, it's going to be very easy for you to use uh, definite article and indefinite article properly and uh, before means of transport I'm sorry that's my typing error I could not rectify it kindly forgive me for that for example we go to school by bus so whenever you're talking about means of transport or modes of transport so do not use any article before them don't say we go to school by a bus or by the bus right just say by bus we go to school by bus she went to Lahore by train so by train by bus by airplane by uh, ship so whenever you're talking about modes of transport means of transport so do not uh, use any article before modes of transport and that's all in this unit kindly don't forget to solve the exercise because that's really very important right and inshallah we'll meet soon with another great lesson till then uh, goodbye and take care and don't forget to inform others about the website www.adzofenglish.com and uh, see you later